feeling I would never be loved. I knew I would be appreciated as a gay male in jail. That was my way of thinking until I was 30 and found myself in jail for the first time. I quickly realized it was not where I wanted to be because I was taunted and teased by not only the male offenders with whom I was housed, but also by the corrections officers. I was leered at and ogled when I showered. I was ejaculated on and made to stand there with my butt exposed for just him. Guards allowed other inmates in my cell while I slept. Me and masturbated while sitting at the table with me in the common area. I saw more penises in 12 days than I have in my entire 38 years of living. That was my reality for 12 days. Upon release, all charges were dropped and I knew I never wanted to experience confinement again. But that fear is looming because I am living with HIV. In Arkansas, the HIV transmission statute states that not disclosing my status to my sexual partner before sex is a felony with a 10 year minimum sentence. Not disclosing to a medical provider is a misdemeanor, even if there is no risk of transmission. It also states that my saliva is a risk for transmission and so are sex toys that are used interchangeably between partners. So, in trying my best to live, after a life of addiction, depression, suicide contemplation, and crime, I learned that being HIV positive can take away my freedom and put me right back in the situation I've avoided for the last eight years, incarceration. I recently debated whether or not to pursue charges for being sexually assaulted because I didn't disclose to my attacker that I have HIV.